Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Marvel Contest of Champions. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to get tier 1 alphas. Now, people might be saying, Rich, I am perfectly aware of how to get tier 1 alphas, then this video may not be applicable to yourself. Now, as you can see, I don't suffer from an issue of having a lack of tier 1 alphas. I've actually got a load more in my stash. As you can see, there is a further 5 ready and waiting to put into action. But there may be people saying, Rich, where do I get tier 1 alphas? Maybe you're in an alliance that is not competing to get these kind of things. Maybe you've just started off the game and really are tempted and also really needing to get your champions up. Obviously the first thing is have patience, it will come in time. But I'm just going to go through the different ways of getting tier 1 alphas. The first way is arena. Catus Clash Alpha appears once every 9 days and you're probably looking at, at anything between 1.5 to potentially up to 3 mil to get into a decent score let's say really close up to rank 1. But that's not the most recommended aspect of doing this. On the milestone rewards at the far end of it, 800,000, you get one tier 1 alpha catalyst. On a rank of 1 to 10, 11 to 50, you will get one tier 1 alpha catalyst. So effectively if you're going to grind this out there is a chance of getting two tier 1 alphas. The big downside is the amount of time you have to put into this particular arena and it may then you know uh, interrupt what you're doing with say the other ones so you may be pushing for the four star arena and then kind of thinking right I need to do this. It's not very time effective for yourself and the fact you have to put 10,000 battle chips isn't really the best thing about this particular arena and it's one of the ones I wouldn't recommend. The other way is questing. Now this is only a quick fix and it again is not the best route and way of doing this to get loads of tier 1 alphas. If you complete act 4 and just a standard completion you'll get two tier 1 alpha catalysts. So that is one way of getting it. Again two and it's a one off so not very effective especially if you're looking to kind of maximize how many you take in monthly. One of the most effective ways is through doing event questing. Event questing is usually on for about 25 to 30 days at most and in a normal mode exploration 100% gives you one tier 1 alpha catalyst. In heroic you can get again a further one but this is on just the completion rewards and on master you get three for the completion awards which is brilliant so that's a potential five that you can get monthly see how things add up this is really good it gets even better so if you're in a good alliance you'll know that the three day event gives you one tier one alpha catalyst now as this event appears quite regularly it does mean that chances are you're going to be hitting those tier one catalysts very frequently so potentially your alliance if they're really effective will hit that milestone of whatever points it is and you'll be getting up to two t1 catalysts a week alpha catalysts a week and then that means six to, to eight a month potentially you may want to really push for these rewards if your alliance isn't then you may need to consider your position within your alliance or get in contact with your leader and say look can we really push to get these rewards i want to get alphas you want to get alphas as an alliance you should be pushing for these rewards it may be best then to consider what you can achieve like will you be able to do the amount of grind for getting um, arena wins uh, perfect series item use completion is pretty easy to complete especially if you repeat the last heroic mission constantly and that can give 3000 points so completion is one that I think alliances should always get another way of getting tier 1 alpha catalyst is through alliance quest two ways number one is through the milestones and also the crystals so you can see here one of the milestones is to get a tier 1 alpha and the second one is to get these various alliance quest crystals which can gift one or two alphas it depends on fragments it also depends on luck largely on luck the other way is rank rewards so at the end of the sequence of five days you will know that there's going to be a rank for your alliance uh, top rank obviously gets the thing that we like the most, the tier 4 class catalyst crystal, but also they get the tier 1 alpha catalyst. Where it becomes a value to get more tier 1s is based on rank 11 to 50, where you get two tier 1 alpha catalysts. 
The rest just get the single one. Even if you get downgraded quite considerably, or even the the kind of lowest rank of 1,500, you're going to be getting one tier one alpha catalyst. So to summarize, what would I recommend? Three things: alliance questing, event questing, and alliance events. Those three things are very important to maximize the amount of tier one alphas that you get. Because obviously you've got the alliance quest, you have to do it in order to get the alliance crystals, spin them out, good chance of you getting the tier one alpha catalyst. The same thing can be said for the milestones within that, also in the alliance events, there's greater chance, you know, once every six days to get at least two if you're hitting the milestones. And then there would be more opportunity down the line with any three day event in the alliance. Event quests are very important because on master, obviously at completion, you get the three, very important as well. You get two from doing one from completing the heroic and then one at 100 percent completion for normal so these are the best routes i'd say to get them without wasting a lot of time maybe units and stuff because some people do waste units in the arena for the tier one alpha catalyst act four you know you're only going to get one from complete two sorry to completing act four um standard completion for that so again not great value and you only get to do it once the other things are recurring, so they're going to come back again and again and again. So those are the best places to go to get that tier one alpha catalyst. So I hope this video has been informative for the people who didn't know. And for those who already did know, then maybe you've kind of then had a look at where to prioritize where you're going to grind out. And if you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe for more content, then please hit that subscribe button. And uh, happy grinding and catch you on the flip side. Bye bye.